Let's view this in the broader context of how the world is changing. Can you remember that a couple of years ago there were discussions about the accuracy of Wikipedia versus Encyclopedia Britannica? Wikipedia is vastly bigger with two and a half million articles and it is more up to date than the Encyclopedia Britannica. But the question doesn't mean much anymore because after 244 years of publication, the presses have stopped. The encyclopedia is no longer being printed. Wikipedia has become an indispensable source of information for everyone. That illustrates how the paradigm is changing. The online world is obliterating the old world order. The most critical aspect of online marketing is search. And here Google is the giant and it continues to set the pace. In order to get found on the internet, your information has to be ranked higher than other people's. About a year ago, Google introduced some changes to their search algorithms which they called Panda. These changes increasingly favor sites that visitors find useful, where the information is constantly being refreshed, and sites where there is social media linking. Therefore, everyone who wants to win online has to adapt to these changes and manage websites accordingly. Winning online has now developed into a whole new discipline known as inbound marketing. According to HubSpot, which is a provider of inbound marketing software, the definition of inbound marketing is any marketing tactic that relies on earning people's interest instead of buying it. Inbound marketing is transforming the nature of marketing from the practice of pumping out selling messages to the discipline of attracting interest. A core technique is to make sure your website has interesting information that is constantly updated, and often this is accomplished using a blog platform with a content management system of some sort. The word blog, to many, means something like a personal journal. A better word would be news feed. Whatever you call it, sites that have newsy information generate 55% more visitors than sites that don't. What other techniques are commonly used in inbound marketing to get results? A recent survey of search practitioners listed the techniques in rank order of their use as 87% use email, 65% use search engine optimization, 64% use event marketing, including speaking and networking, 55% use press releases, 41% use direct mail, and 38% use online ads, such as Google AdWords. Of course, there is no single correct formula for picking tactics. It depends on your business, target market, and resources. A critical step in the inbound marketing process is to build a list of people who are interested in your product. There are lots of techniques for doing this. The simplest way is to ask for a login through a social media site or ask for an email address. You can add an incentive such as the offer of a prize or useful information such as a white paper. Inbound marketing software is particularly useful for business-to-business -business marketing. Inbound marketing techniques enable you to fuse what you do online with person-to-person -person selling. The traditional sales funnel starts with a sales lead and develops it into a paying customer. With inbound marketing, you take the roles generally performed by the marketing department, including generating awareness, and fuse it with the functions performed by the sales department. You build a list of names in your software and then nurture them through the funnel from awareness through to engagement so that when the prospect is ready to buy, the sales staff can step in and complete the deal. These new integrated processes make for a smoother collaboration between marketing and sales. The increasing importance of online techniques and the sophistication of inbound marketing software means that the role of salespeople is changing. Salespeople are changing from having to sell, that is, using aggressive forms of persuasion, to providing an informative and helpful service, a service that is invaluable to both the purchaser and the vendor. The whole process of inbound marketing is facilitated by software services. There are many brands of inbound marketing software. Three of the most popular are Eloqua, HubSpot, and Marketo. Some are more suitable for consumer marketing, others for business to business, but they all in their own way help integrate various sales and marketing functions, including contact management, lead generation, web content management systems, email campaigns, social media integration, search engine marketing, and they provide lots of measures about what is working or what needs fixing, which is termed analytics. All this might sound needlessly technical with lots of industry jargon, but the key point is that inbound marketing is more effective than traditional approaches to marketing and sales, and it gives managers greater control over their business. 
HubSpot reports that on average, inbound marketing costs 62% less per lead than traditional outbound marketing. However, we should never lose sight of the fact that marketing and sales is not driven by software solutions. As every artist and marketer should know, you connect with people through emotion. To connect with consumers, your brand has to be likable. For a brand to be effective, it has to be clear what it is and what it stands for. That means giving the brand a personality and telling stories. One might imagine this is a difficult and expensive process, but it doesn't have to be. Here is an example of a small plumbing company that we just relaunched called Park Lane. On the top left is their website from before, which looks a lot like every other plumber's website. Shown below is the new website that positions them as Toronto's leaders in condominium plumbing. It humanizes them by featuring one of their crew in a condo. It tells the story of Mr. Cavelli, who is the owner, and it highlights their awesome customer reviews. The site makes the company more likable than their competitors.